It's gone. Hi guys, how are you? Good, thanks. Great. Good. Very, very good. Very, very good. Congratulations on the show. Thank you. We're, we're very proud of Hope it. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, no, it was terrible. That's the end of the interview. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good fun. It's that, that's fun. exactly the kind of answer I give to questions you're about to ask. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> I love my co-stars. <laughs> That's like what we like to see. Um, yeah, guys, it's fantastic. It's a real kind of epic journey. I was kind of sucked into the world almost immediately. So I wanted to ask you both, maybe Laura, I'll chat this to you first. How does it feel for you as, a, as an actor when you're outside in the real world with your mobile phone and, you know, all the luxuries that we get now to then step onto the set and step into this world? That must be an experience itself, let alone then being in the world and acting in the world. Yeah, yeah. No, it has really, it's, it's been... A dream come true really like all these amazing sets that they built all these costumes they created the whole story like the scripts were amazing it's really a dream come true and um um it as you say it was also a great experience or like a great chance to experience how the life back then was because we don't know much of that time and getting the chance to actually live there is is it's fantastic yeah how was it for you, David, stepping into stepping back in time? Um, well, I, I actually live in a wattle and daub hut, so I've had to hire this this flat for the for the purposes of this interview. But otherwise, like my horse is out back, and I'm going to be eating gruel tonight. So it's it's basically I, I do what I do for a living, and I do it when I'm off screen. <laughs> Always nice when the job comes along where you can you can mesh work and life together. Well, exactly. It's why most of the time I turn down jobs where my trousers have pockets. <laughs> <laughs> no need for pockets is there come on now um and obviously you're following the the show beforehand are you are you guys aware of just how big that the fan base for that show is because i was doing some googling today and i know about the show and i've watched some episodes but there's a there's a kind of a fervent fan base for this show and equally so for for your one are, are you are you guys ready for for that to, to enter your life maybe david i'll I'll start it with you and your and your farm or with your horse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll ask the peacock to be quiet and I'll ask the question. Um, <laughs> now, the I think one of the great things about playing a Saxton or a Norman, indeed, in this show is that a substantial amount of the fan base from the previous show is hung up on all those Viking characters. <laughs> so we've got less of a hurdle to jump. It's going to be slightly <laughs> easier for us. Um, no, I, I think there is plenty for everyone who loved the original show to love about this new one. And, and I think... By bringing in Jeb to write it, by handing the mantle from Michael to Jeb, you have, I mean, I, I would challenge anyone who liked Vikings to say they didn't like Die Hard or The Fugitive. I mean, the truth is that the pull, the pull across to Valhalla is substantial and mighty and has film heritage in its back pocket. Yeah, I did. I did have written down about the fact that it's Jeb Stewart who wrote Die Hard. Yeah. And immediately it's, cool. it's like, yeah, I'm in for this. <laughs> and Laura, for the great you know, for you, Sorry, go on. I was going to say for Laura, your character Emma, she, she straight away, I was kind of drawn to her and her story. For you as a as an actor, what what compelled you to want to to play her? So what really fascinated me about Emma from the beginning is that she is a strong character. She's so ambitious and very very intelligent, which is her biggest strength, I would say, and what makes her really extraordinary. Also, um, she in a good way, uses her mind, her intelligence as, as a weapon, but not in a, not in a aggressive way, but in a good way. I, I hope you understand what I mean. And that was something that really fascinated me about her. Excellent. I've got these questions for everybody now, a quick, quick one answer question, a true or false answer. So I wonder if you guys can, about a Viking, I've gone onto the History Channel and got some Viking stats. So I'm going to ask everybody individually. So the question is true or false, gentlemen, in that age preferred to be blonde what do we think <laughs> false brunettes all the way yeah i say it's true <laughs> laura is correct yep. apparently <sighs> preferred to be blonde i thought that was a fascinating fact gentlemen prefer to be blonde never mind uh guys love it still thanks so much for your time absolute pleasure and good luck with the show thanks guys yeah, see you soon so much. Take care. ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!